seems like almost monthly chats. Yeah, I know. We talk all the time. We we're, all, we're practically on like a first name basis. We're besties. So what's your favorite place that you've played live so far? Oh man. The ones I look forward to are the ones I went to. Oh yeah, I guess. When so. I was younger, you know. Did you like, ever oh, dream that you'd be on that stage? Yeah, I dreamt. Yeah. A lot. Did you ever think it could happen? I thought it could happen. <laughs> I just thought it was gonna take a lot longer. So what was it like the first time you're on that stage that you watched when you were growing up? What was I screwed that? up all the words. Did you? Mm -hmm. We started. We started with a song called "Knock on Wood." There's a few people that remember it. Not everybody does, but I, you know, everybody thinks it's like "Woman in Love" or "Lonely Drunk." Yeah. You know, they're like, "That was your first thing," and I was like, "Well, that was the third thing." Yeah. You know, and it's. Uh, but for the ones that did know "Knock on Wood," they got a sense of who I was right off the bat, and there was no questions. And, um, was that a so, slower one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was about. Can you do? You get, can you play it a little? Yeah. I'd nice. love to hear that. Let's see. When did it? Uh, when did it come out? Uh, it would have been tw early 2017, I think. Okay. See if I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change the world Just me and this guitar And I'm gonna bank more money Than you can fit in 20 tip jars I'm gonna leave those bars for a sellout in Madison Square. 18,000 screaming fans burning lighters in the air. Knock on wood. Yeah, with a little luck from up above coming down from the man upstairs. Well, I'll be the song. You sing along on some radio somewhere And all those doubters and demons They thought they could stop my dreaming Could stick it where the sun don't shine for good Knock on wood Get a little gist of it that's really good. Thank you. That is really good. Do you not good. know that? No, I never heard that well, before, dang man. It, man. Okay, show me how to do some lonely drum here. Okay. Are you like standard? Are you? Yeah, standard. Okay. So you just stay where you're at, because I'm a full step down. Oh, look at that. I know. Okay, so, what kind of guitar is that? This is a Gibson Parlor. Okay. It's much nicer than yours. Yeah, this is a. I'm just saying. So it's really easy to play. Start okay. D. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Forgotten the words on stage all the time. Really? Oh yeah. Is that when you as just ADD like, as they come? You just hold the microphone up and hope the crowd singing along. The thing at that about point? pretty much the thing about um, the like forgetting your words is especially it's usually just lonely drum and the, <laughs> and I think the reason why is because the melody is so infectious yeah. and it never changes that it's like so when I sing a certain line. Like, I, it, it, there's no recollection for me on what line I was on or where I was. Right. So I'm like, so I'll just go to a whole nother verse. Right, you'll, you'll be, you'll and like jump that. And then I'll look over, I'll, I'll look at the whole band, <laughs> and they're just laughing. Because <laughs> they know. Because they know. At what point did you feel comfortable, like, really becoming you? Like, is, is this like... Uh, my wife helped with that a lot. Yeah. You know, I think early on in my uh, career, I was always trying to be more than what I was. You know, when my wife came into my life, it was like, you're fine just the way you are. Like, what are you talking about? You're great. And I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I was like, yes, you are. And I thought about that. And, uh, but and no, she that was, she, of course, won. Yeah. She always won. Safety first. But no, it's a, it's, that's kind of the thing. You know, I think, um, you know, and I, I certainly feel like, I feel like I'm a much better artist when I'm being myself than it's easier to be yourself to be than when you're trying to be somebody else. So much easier. I, I'm just a fan of real. I'm just a fan of um, just 
just staying true to what I like and um, what I, I, I just, I, I'm a sucker for a great lyric, so it's just, it's just hard to get me out of that, so. And you're a soulful singer, powerful singer. Well, I learned, had to learn how to do that. Really? How long did that take? I was very pitchy when I started. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Long time. Long time. You still feel like you're learning, or you feel like? I do, um, but I, I'm pretty settled in, you know, like to where I like to sing and my, my mom was always telling me to project. That's why I'm a very loud singer. Cause, and I learned how to sing around a campfire, so it was always like, can you sing louder? <laughs> okay. You're a big Conway Twitty guy too, right? Totally. I think uh, one of your favorite totally. songs is It's Only Make it's Believe. It's Only Make Believe. It's one of the best songs ever. My one and only prayer Is that someday you'll care My hopes, my dreams come true my one and only end. No one will ever know How much I love you so My only prayer will be Someday you'll care for me But it's only Believe Bars and churches, yeah, different feel. Mm -hmm. You're kind of a, a you know an up and going party guy. You like to have a lot of fun. Bars and churches slows it right down. You get pretty, pretty deep with that. Yeah, that's. I mean, that, I think that song is just an incredible song. It's, you know, redemption comes to mind, you know. Um, and uh, like I know, certainly in my life, like I've spent obviously a lot of time in bars. We know that. I was going to ask. I'm a country <laughs> singer, so there's a good chance I've you played met a few your, bars. Well, you met your wife. And then you, yeah, you I mean, didn't remember. And, yeah, yeah, which was probably due to a bar. Um, <laughs> but then after I met my wife, like I started going to church, and church was a different thing for me because I grew up um, in Spirit River, Alberta, and I went to a Catholic, I wasn't Catholic, but I went to a Catholic school, and I was like very accepted there. And, um, um, so, but but that kind of church is a different kind of church than I started going to in Nashville. So then you kind of got this like this whole other sense of the word and what it's really all about. And, so um, when we wrote that song, it was just it was all about like not making anybody wrong for finding community wherever they find it, you know. And because um, I think community is such a it's just such an important thing for us human beings. We have to be around people, you know. And you know when you single yourself out, it's never a good thing. Did you write bars and churches? Uh, yeah. Like on the guitar, you, like you wrote the music for it. How did you come up with that one? This is the vibe. Like, did you I have it know. in your back pocket? Kinda, I know like, I like the key of C, so I started there, and um, I can't remember exactly how. Um, but I just started playing like that. I just started playing that, and it was just the right vibe. We were just talking about lyric and. Um, in Nashville, there's you know a bar and a church on every corner, so you know that it's like that'd be a good line for the first, you know, obviously. And then uh, um, Ben said we should start it like you, we go there. You know? so we'll just start it right now. We go over there, running from the empty, looking for a little light, just another face in the crowd of the broken heart. So we dance and we sing and pretend that we're all alright But we're not, and we know it, but we won't show it Well there's one on every corner, you ain't gotta look too hard And those doors will swing wide open, no matter who you are It's where Jesus knows to go to find the sinners and the saints It's where you Hit your knees Say a prayer Take a drink Cause we're all hurt We're all searching In bars and churches I remember being you know, young and just just wanting somewhere to play. You know, that was always the thing. Is like as long as we had somewhere to play. And so I've always, I think it's really important. I hope people continue to give young artists a place to play. Man, thanks so much for doing this. Thank man. you so much for having me. Appreciate you, Aaron Goodman.